Hey guys, welcome to match two of the Nations Cup. Today USA and Turkey will face each other. Yesterday we had some insane matches with UK against Canada. First match of today will be Merlini X against um, Merlini for USA and then we have Billy Dirk for Turkey. Those are facing in round one where only standard and limited cards are allowed. And the winner of the first round scores the first point for his team. First team to score two points will win this match. Yeah. Let's see if the USA can keep up with their favorite role and if maybe Turkey can do a surprise here as the underdog. I guess let's not waste time and jump into the first match. Let's see if the players are ready and then we jump right into it. Have fun with the matches guys. Merlini for the US in the bottom. We see also on top. Also beats Billy Dirk. Billy Dick. Hard to pronounce as a German, sorry for that. Okay, I see the quality is not the best here from Merlini. But I think we can can see what we have to see here. So also playing Brits and Merlini is playing USA. Also already having two units on board here. Put the volume down a little bit. Okay, no volume pulling down, then we take it here with that with that sound. Okay, Merlini having a 3-4 up that unfortunately did not get blitz because he would have needed 4 credits for it and also trades it away. And he's just going to hammer this now. So what is also having left? Hurricane, the fighter that has, that has Blitz, Coldstream Guards, Patriotic Firestorm. It looks like he's playing an, a support line deck. Stacking artilleries and bombers and then one OTKs um, his opponent with with the Patriotic Firestorm that gives unit in your sub, units in your support line plus three attack. Now the cold stream, cold stream guards. Not sure why he did not secure his HQ with it. I mean, it's not that highly needed, but why would you place it there? Kamelini is playing USA Soviets with ramp. And a lot of orders here. Oh, wow, wow, his Awoken Giants might be so useless against Ulsa. Okay, now he gets value out of them. At least a little bit. Oh. Good removal there from Merlini, clearing the board. And having a 2 2 up. Here comes the Katusha. Oh, there will be a very, very good patriotic firestorm soon. Can close air support. Yeah, Merlini should really, really 
try to clear everything as much as he can there. Otherwise he will get a lot of damage. Together with close air support, plus two, six, seven. Seven plus nine. 16 damage if he's not able to clear the full board. Okay, well played. Cleared everything beside that one bomber. It still has a death from above left. He yeah, also has to stack airplanes now. And see if they. Okay. That was good for Malini. Now, also cannot attack the HQ since it had smoke screen from the first Marines. Otherwise, the, he would be dead. Two patriotic firestorms in Osa's hand. I think he can play one Periodic Firestorm here and trade away Merlini's units. Going to do it. Oh, he's keeping it. Also good idea to keep the Sherman, pin the Sherman. Ooh. This will be a close battle, guys. But looks like Orsa wins here with double patriotic firestorm. He wins. Does it give plus two or plus plus three? I'm not sure. It is plus two. But even now, 11 damage plus close air support. Merlini is dead. Wow! Turkey takes the lead here. Okay, guys, here we are again. Sorry for the delay. Um, yeah, as I said, USA under pressure now. If Turkey scores another win here now in round two, where every card rarity is allowed. Then we already have a winner here. And if USA wins, we will see another king of the hill here, as we saw yesterday. Or UK against Canada. Players are requesting. And we should have a match here soon. Well, let's see. The underdog wins here. There we are. So, Sientavore for USA. Going second here against Pyroblast. Sientavore is playing Soviet token deck. Having a decent starting hand here. Pyroblast looks like he's playing German aggro. Oh, Flampanzer is a good answer. Against Sientavore start. Oh, Pyroblast is playing Germany Britons with Albacore. Oh, is this loud?
think we might see a flump panzer now. Yes, we do. Man, why is it that loud? Okay, there's the Tomahawk on, that gives every infantry unit plus one, plus one on deploy. Oh, but a joint operation at Albacor. Looks a little bit like Sientavor is already under pressure here. Blast with the blockade in, in hand. Okay, interesting deck. Not pure aggro, also a little bit control and delay your opponent style. And you might also clear the token with the ah, with the blockade, right? Yeah. I always forget that blockade also deals one damage. That blockade hurt in the wall for sure. Oh, how much pressure is on him now? If he loses that match, then Turkey wins. Holy. <laughs> I can feel the pressure myself. And I'm not even playing. So much for a center war that he has to kill there. Naval Waffe. The oh Alba Core. No. Riddick, sub, thank you for the sub, Riddick. Highly appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the tournament so far. Oh, look at Pyroblast's hand. With the black watch and Sienta Water having three important orders in hand. Oh no. That that Leopold might um, might be the game changer later here. Even if um, Centaur managed to come back, or stabilize in this game, then one Leopold can change anything here. Because currently he's not having a good answer for Leopold here.
Yeah, Pyroblast just farming everything that Center War brings on board or to the front line. Oh, and there's the Comet. What Pyroblast can do now? Okay, it might be too risky, so he has to trade everything away still. And there is another blockade. Oh man. What an annoying deck. None have touched the other's HQ so far. Yeah, the two naval buffers are just so devastating. Drawing one light infantry here. Two alliances in hand, but the ah, uh, this might be in too early, Leopold here. I'm not sure if this was maybe a little bit too early and you should have waited till, for example, Unity Strength is out. Because those units in the support line are not really a threat for your artilleries and everything else. You should have waited, I guess. One more turn. Not sure what he was afraid of there. Could have just commit. Maybe he wanted to have that 6 4 that deals with Enter Wars big 4 6 infantry there. Being able to trade the tokens with the bomber and with the, with the naval warfare. Oh, he's moving the bomber. Oh, he's sacrificing his bomber there. Sacrificing the bomber so the infantry cannot move to the front line. And then he has 10 damage, 14 damage next turn. No, even more with the lightning. So he has lethal on board. Oh no, never mind. He cannot deploy it since his support line is full. So he has 13. 13, yeah, he cannot even deploy Comet. But what he can do... I oh know, he cannot move it to the front line since it is occupied by this 1-2 infantry. Why is it not showing the front line? There's one line missing. Yeah, that's why my opinion was that Leopold a little bit too early. I mean, even now he can just go face, set him to 30, uh, to 2, 13 damage, that's what I meant. 
Just go face Pyroblast. Do it and you are the hero of Turkey. Yeah, I guess he's thinking about how he brings Comet in. Why is he trading so much? You can you can argue that it's okay to trade the frontline infantry away, but why trading the other tokens when you can set your opponent to two health? Or no no to ten health and then you have lethal next turn without having him a unit in the front line. Oh, so many cards go to the trash here. Now he realizes that he also has Bismarck now. And Saint Javor is not having Oh no. Oh no, it's getting close now guys. He should have done it one turn earlier and not wait so long. Saint Javor can do how many is he having? Four plus five. He has eighteen damage. With the double unity of strength on the one force. Eighteen. Look at this. Yeah. Close one, but not good enough. Iris is having having Bismarck in hand. Good game and Turkey wins. What is he doing? Doing it, <laughs> keeping his Bismarck in hand. Wow. Who is surprised as I am? A clean 2-0 sweep here. Turkey, winner of the match. Holy moly. That was a fast one. Who is surprised as much as I am? What a game. There we go. Turkey, the new leader of Group A. Every team played a match in Group A so far. Everything is, can still happen here. But UK and USA already a little bit under pressure. Tomorrow we will start with Group B. France against Belgium. Um, that game will start uh, one and a half hour later than today, 7.30. The teams agreed on starting a little bit later, so everybody has time to play the match. 7.30, remember.